Okay, well, actually getting up and moving here with this lariat. Wow. Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we're reviewing a very, very interesting Ford F-150 Lariat. Before we get into the video, though, a huge shout out and thank you to the Larry Miller Ford Lincoln here in Provo for giving me some time with this truck. This very strange truck is available for sale right now. If you're interested, I'll include a link to their inventory in the description down below so you can reach out to them. And then on a side note, if you want to save time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below as well. Let's get into the video. So under the hood, we have a turbocharged 2.7 liter V6. It goes through a 10 speed automatic transmission. It is good for 325 horsepower and then 400 pound feet of torque with fuel economy being 17 around town and then 23 on the highway. Now, I've already reviewed a bunch of new F-150s. I just want to focus on the weird stuff about this truck, and that's why I went over the engine, because first off, it's got the turbocharged 2.7 liter V6, which is not super common. Most F-150s are ordered out with the 3.5 liter V6, and some are ordered out with the 5.0. Uh, but again, not a lot of people order the 2.7, even though it's a really solid powertrain, and a lot of people love it. Now, the next thing is, first off, this color. It's not necessarily a rare color in terms of it's hard to get, but it's a rare color in terms of people actually ordering it. Most people order their F-150s in white or black or gray, not bright red. So that's the first thing that's interesting. The next thing is this is a Lariat, which normally on the surface of things wouldn't be too weird, but it's a Lariat Super Cab, which we'll get into that in just a moment. But because this is a Super Cab, we have a slightly larger bed. This is a six foot four bed, and we'll get into that in just a moment. Notice we got a four by four sticker here because this also has an off-road package on it. I know things are, things are stacking up to be pretty weird. Anyways, we got this nice tailgate drop down function. Payload capacity, 1,565 pounds. I thought it would be more because this has the 2.7, which is a little V6, but yeah, I mean, still solid for the segment. Got a power outlet here in the bed, um, but yeah, six foot four bed, no bed step or anything like that though. Just the regular tailgate. And there's not much else here that's weird on the outside. It's just that you've got, you know, normal Lariat stuff. So again, not too strange. The biggest thing is the fact that it's a super cab, like I said. So to actually open up the door on the super cab, you have to open up the front door first. And yes, we'll get into this interior in just a moment. But you have this handle here in the back to open up the back. And they've gone through the effort of making it so that this has the same two-tone design on the door panel because this has this tan interior. But with the super cab, just like most other truck makers with smaller cabs, you don't get nice materials here in the back. In a F-150 Lariat with the Super Crew, you actually have like nice trim here on the door panel, whereas this, not so much. But you have really nice seats here in the back. So you have these nice leather seats here with the perforated leather in the center. Like they look nice. You got normal seat belts here in the back as well. Getting in is kind of weird because like you don't have any door to like grab onto. So you kind of like have to just step up and use the seat for leverage. Um, definitely cramped. Like <laughs> it's definitely cramped. Also, there's the little, you can see that for the door at the top. Um, we've got a little charging port area down below and yeah, I mean, it's, it's a nice area here in the back. Um, I guess we'll pop out. Ooh. So when you're done, make sure you close this door first. And also seatbelt on the door. Hilarious. So make sure you close that one first. And then the front door panel is just like any other Lariat door panel. So you have like this trim here at the top. And then notice you've got like the brown leather down below. So like this is all normal. Blind spot monitoring there for the mirror. Bang and Olsen sound system. And you can see here at the front seat that two-tone design. I actually, I really like this interior. This is definitely an old man spec with the red and then the, the brown inside. Here's your door jam sticker, by the way. And you guys can see all the controls here. But popping in, getting the front's a little bit easier because at least we have a grab handle. Do do do. So, the weirdness continues, I suppose. So we've got the normal like Lariat steering wheel setup, except we have a column shifter here with this Lariat. Full digital gauge cluster, as you guys can see. We've got the 12-inch display, but just the uh, regular... Oh, I went into neutral instead of reverse. Just the regular backup camera. This one doesn't have the 360 camera system, which is what you'll see in a lot of Lariats in terms of what they have it optioned out with. Um, but we do have heated and cooled seats here for the front, which is nice. Then we have like a normal drive mode select here. So we still have like all the normal Lariat drive modes. Like that's unchanged. And also the drive line select with the two-wheel high, four-wheel high, four-wheel auto, four-wheel low. Uh, now we've got a bench seat here in this one. 
So, you know, it's technically a uh, six seater, right? Normal glove box setup. Uh, no center for anything like that, but we do have a sunglass holder and then the rear window is still power. But yeah, just like, just an interesting mix of things here with this truck. I just, I've never seen a truck order like this. Again, I could imagine like an XL or something having a super cab and the 2.7, but seeing a Lariat with a super cab and a 2.7 and everything, it's kind of interesting. Um, but anyways, you guys can see here with the equipment and this thing's actually pretty inexpensive for a Lariat with all the equipment it has. Notice the total price here, $55,835. Most of the Lariats I review are well over $60,000. Some XLTs are even more than that. And so I guess if you want like a budget Lariat, then <laughs> Super Cab and 27 V6. Let's see how it drives. Well, let's talk about visibility before we set off. Here's your visibility over the hood. Both the mirrors do a blind spot monitoring. Then throughout the rest of the rear. And let's set off. Setting off in this strange Lariat. I'm very curious to see how this drives because I have actually never driven a super cab before i know it's crazy i well yeah no i don't think i ever have so i've reviewed probably more f-150s than any person on earth and well never driven a super cab also that gladiator is pretty cool looking it's an overland it looks like it's got some upgraded shocks tires a little bit of a lift as well um but i mean in terms of like the front seat area here it feels that's pretty hard to touch oh it's like a phone holder here uh it feels pretty normal for the most part, like it doesn't feel any different than any other um, F-150, which I think is a, I think, I think that's a plus, right? We're actually gonna go the same way as the Gladiator because um, if the Gladiator can't get out turning right, we're definitely not gonna be able to get out turning left. Um, some other stuff with this truck is, yeah, it, it just has like all the normal, huh, I'm getting 1.1 miles per gallon. I'm very economical today, very, very economical. Um, column shifter's weird. I understand why they have that because this has the bench seat so like if you get a bench seat then you're going to get a column shifter but again usually yeah just like not used to that in Fords, used to like the console shifter that you have because most of the Fords that i review have a center console so again that's kind of an interesting thing um but getting up and moving this drives just like a regular f-150 so I'm noticing. So here's here's my guess is this is probably about the same size as a super crew with a short bed because this is a super cab with a long bed. And so it makes sense that this is gonna feel pretty much just like any other F-150 because the, the size is about the same, right? Well, actually getting up and moving here with this Lariat. Wow. The two sevens actually pretty dang quick. That's impressive. I haven't driven a 2.7 in an F-150 in quite some time. I forgot how good this engine is. A lot of people rave about it because, I mean, as you can see, power is great. And this gets really good fuel economy. I, I've seen some comments of people saying that the 3.5 doesn't get as good as what they want. Whereas with the 2.7, it seems like everyone kind of universally agrees that this gets good fuel economy. So, yeah, let's sum things up, I suppose, here. Um, very weird spec, like I said. Very weird spec. Um... I, I don't know what to say about this truck. It's it's just this, like I said, it's an interesting combination between the smaller cab, I mean, smaller cab with a longer bed, that makes sense. But a Lariat with this color combo. I don't know, let me know if you guys have ever seen anything quite like this. I haven't in the past. And so, yeah, that's gonna sum things up and let me know what you guys think. That's gonna sum things up for our video on this very strange Lariat build. Again, a huge shout out and thank you to the Lariat Schmiller Ford Lincoln here in Provo for giving me some time with this truck. Check out them in the description down below. I'll see ya.